Hey guys, this is Fox and Nats. <clears throat> and this is my fourth gym overview. I'm slightly sick, so there will be tons of coughing and shit. Also, copious amounts of my face in the background. Uh, this trainer has five <coughs> ghastlies. Um, they all seem to be female in level 16. Um, which is retarded because it's like fighting the same Pokemon five times, but. Okay, game. But anyway, yeah, because the entire gimmick of the gym is to be dark, you see my face a lot. I apologize for, uh, blinding you, but, uh, yeah, not much I can do about that, so piss off, if you have a problem with it, I mean. So... Anyway, random like menu editing, and now we fight this trainer who has a haunter <coughs> and another haunter. <clears throat> also, the annoying thing is, after you defeat a trainer, instead of the gym lighting up more like you would expect, the gym gets darker. What? Anyway, um, this trainer has just a solitary level 22, uh, Haunter. This gym is quite a bit shorter than, uh, Whitney's gym, thankfully. The gym battle wasn't as tough, but the Gengar still gave me a couple of problems. This trainer has a level 18 Ghastly and a level 20 Haunter. And a level 20 Ghastly. So anyway, I wound up falling off the path there, and then I finally get to Morty, and then after like four minutes of random bullshit, I finally talk to Morty, and we start off his gym battle right about now. And um, he uh, he looks pretty fancy because before he was just like a random guy with a headband and a long shirt and some shorts, I think, but now he has, like, the whole scarf and sweater thing going on, you know, he, uh, he looks like he likes to be fashionable, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, alright, and it's not gay at all to talk for this, bro, right, anyway, so, um, his first Pokemon goes down pretty quickly, and I didn't forget to record him this time, that's another thing I wanted to point out, I did not forget to record them this time, so take that, Crystal. Anyway, I'm like, okay, we're gonna have the Golbat solo. As you see, he's not named Bro or Brobat anymore. He's named Shifty Eyes, because I realized that there is <coughs> a character in Hiragana that looks pretty much exactly like the um, less than symbol, and there's no underscore, but uh, there is a period, so just made that face in his name. So anyway, I uh, wake myself up, because you can't be falling asleep in the middle of gym fights. That's just, it's not even right. That's that, that would be like falling asleep on the job. You know, you would get fired for that shit, except it's Pokemon, so you would get your ass released, released back into the wild to get eaten by all the fucking wild Pokemon, because you're domesticated, alright? You don't know what it's like to have to sort of fend for yourself and survive in the wild. You only know about these domesticated cockfights. Domesticated. Alright, fuck that shit. You get released, you're pretty much dead. Even if you're a blue crocodile, which is what I use <coughs> to combat his ghost, which I've heard theories that um, Gengar is like the ghost of Clefairy, and when you look at them, they do kind of seem, uh, pr they do seem pretty sim similar, like the ears and stuff. So, I don't know. Uh, it could be. They both have tails and everything. So, anyway, this motherfucking ganger, as he's called in Japanese, because that's such an original and cool and normal name. <coughs> First, he mean looks, and then he hypnosises, because that is just the ultimate cool thing to do. Alright? You just put motherfuckers to sleep, and you also prevent them from leaving the battle. And then he uses Shadow Boru. And then, I'm like, yeah, I can take it, and then it brings me into the red. At this point, I realize <coughs> I'm fucked. He kills me. I mean, he kills Rape Karan. Sucks to be you, Rape Karan. Alright. Uh, so, then, oh, that's my chair. That's not me farting, by the way. Uh, 
my chair just... Yeah. So anyway, I bring in Jirachi, which, like, why did I bring in Jirachi? It's a psychic type. So... He does something that misses, and I'm like, I'm gonna hit you in the face with meteors now, because that's pretty much my strategy for everything. And it's at this point that I realize, hey, wait, maybe Draco Meteor isn't the best solution to everything, because not everything is dying to it in one hit now. So it does a little, uh, it does a decent chunk of damage, I suppose. And then, I'm like, okay, <coughs> let's think. So then he Shadow Balls again, just like... Stop shoving your balls in my face, bro. That's kind of homosexual. And check out that new psychic animation. It's pretty trippy, if you ask me. I hear random people screaming outside. That's, uh, that... I don't think that's too good, to, to be honest. Um, yeah. So, I bring in Shifty Eyes, the goal bat. And I'm like, I'm just going to start biting him. And then he shadow balls and does a shitload of damage. And I'm like... I'm a bad, I can outspeed him. No, I can't. Down goes Shifty Eyes. You will be missed. <coughs> so at this point, I'm like, alright, this Shadow Ball faggotry has to stop. So I bring in my HM slave. And I'm like, alright, cut. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to die. Right. <coughs> and I'm going to heal up somebody. I can't remember who I healed up, because this was like yesterday, or the day before yesterday. No, I think it was yesterday. It was yesterday. So he shadow balls. Obviously that kills. And... <coughs> <coughs> fucking hell. <clears throat> <clears throat> Jirachi. Healed up Jirachi. And I'm like, sup now, faggot. So, I... You know, like, I, I do a nice little rave again, and down goes Ganger, finally. So I'm like, lol, level ups up. And, uh, I believe it is now Tyen. Foar. Well, first of all, it's time for my computer to uh, stop making loud fan noises, and it's time for his <coughs> <coughs> last <coughs> Pokemon. Hunter. And he mean looks, cause, you know, that's what you do. When you meet new people, you give them the stink eye, alright, so that they're paralyzed in fear and can't run away. That's not a dick thing to do at all. So, I show him my psychokinesis, and he, like, collapses in pain, and I level up again. Because, like, experience boost from being traded is rape. Because, yes, I got the Jirachi from trading. Oh my god. People actually can't figure this out, people. I'm not making this up. Like, what What the hell? So anyway, we get the Fog Badge. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. The Fog Badge. The motherfucking Fog Badge. And it only makes sense for his badge to be called the Fog Badge here. I think that's also the Shadow Ball TM. Let me get a good... Oh, I was scrolling through the text too fast. I couldn't tell if it was Shadow Ball or not. Because I know how to read the word ball now. Lol. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, four badges. Sexy. See you guys next time.